Hey guys, Silent Zero here. Welcome back to the Utame Cross Gacha video. Uh, sadly, for this month, I am not able to do my uh, normal style of 7 star episode play because uh, finances are tight. <laughs> uh, I am still able to subscribe for the Utamaku Pass or the Special Pass which is known as uh, it is right now. Uh, but sadly, that is all I can afford for this month. So, yeah, Cheryl fans, I'm sorry. I can't do the Step Up Gacha for your waifu. Uh, I am also glad <laughs> that there's only one 7 star episode played this month. Uh, considering my financial condition, uh, it's a good thing. And of course, yes, there, there's the wonderful thing as the free, the free 10 Pool. I almost said free, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, free template pools. Make sure you guys remember to pull it every day. It started yesterday. So if you guys forgot about it, I'm sorry you've lost 10 free gacha uh, episode plates. Just like that. Um, so anyways, let's do the usual thing. We have the step up gacha version. Of course, if you guys can afford to pull it or if you've been saving up because you guys are Cheryl fans, it is your chance to finally gain um, this wonderful brand new style of 7 star episode plates. Two costumes for the price of one. Um, so, if you guys seen the commercial for the introduction of Cheryl's, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce this episode plate. Um, according to its, um, I think hiragana, um, it says, wait, let me see, Lapin, uh, Lapan Noir, so I think it's pronounced as Lapin Noir, you know, so Noir, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not good with Latin words, or is it German, I don't know, so, <laughs> um, anyways, Two costumes for the price of one. Uh, according to the commercial, the default costume design is actually Cheryl's Black Bunny costume. So when you use it in the live, the White Bunny costume will appear in the live itself. So I don't know if we'll ever get the White Bunny costume as an individual costume, but you know, let's let's see how things goes. Um, with future releases for Cheryl no, maybe eventually the white bunny costume might get its own individual costume slot uh, within this universe so all right so let's take a look at the episode play itself let's break it down and see if it's um, one of the newer seven star uh, seven star episode plate styles okay so um, 4,350 total score, pretty normal for a 7 star, well balanced stats all around, of course you want to pay attention to the other 3 divas who can equip it, surprisingly enough, Milane, Freya, hmm, <laughs> I guess it appeals to the, uh, um, a bit of a naughty side, Cons I, I mean, Milane is understandable considering she, she wears something like this <laughs> every day. <laughs> Freya, however, hmm, <laughs> maybe the white bunny section, so I don't know. Anyways, the usual stuff, of course, if you use the episode played on a Macross Frontier song, you get that double S ranking center skill, which boosts your unit's total by 60% up. Then, of course, the second page, the usual stuff. Um, if you fully evolve the episode played to its 7 star form, you get to activate the active skill twice. For 15 seconds, your score is boosted by 100% up. So fantastic, as always. Uh, live skill, score up. So it seems like most of the 7 star episode plates now have a live skill that kind of supports this high score achievement style of play, which is fantastic. All right, the most important thing, the last page. Uh, let's see which special note is attached to this 7 star episode plate. Ooh, it's a high score note. So it's definitely not that useful for this current um, event style, the ticketing event. The main thing is we need the um, item note, which is this one, which is not highlighted. So 
the other seven star episode plates um, that belong to Cheryl and Ranka. Uh, they are the ones that are the most effective when it comes to ranking in this current event style. Although, technically, you do need to kind of compete for high score as well. Um, so this is where the current 7 star Cheryl episode plate comes in uh, Especially if you're trying to do well with the high score ranking in the current event itself So wow, does this mean that Cheryl has like 4 7 star episode plates now? Huh, <laughs> okay, anyways um, With that said, is this episode plate definitely worth um, investing in, I would say yes, considering that you know it's a blue series episode plate um, for Cheryl, which doesn't come by very often. So definitely um, try to attain this, especially uh, this episode plate, especially um, with the, the fact of the special note attached to it, and it's a blue series, especially if you're a Cheryl known fan. For all of us else who are not Cheryl stands, um, basically you just have to consider do you need a blue series episode plate with a high score note attachment to it. Um, if you already have something similar, I think you can safely put away your singing stones and save up for your waifu's brand new powered up 7 star episode plate or maybe a birthday uh, step up gacha. Speaking of birthday step up gacha, there's a reason why I didn't do a video for my waifu's birthday step up gacha. Um, one fact that is, yes, I, I'm kind of broke. <laughs> the second thing is that all the episode plates featured in this birthday step up gacha, I already have. And yes, they are fully powered up. So. Yeah, Ranka 7 star, both of them. Um, let's see, let me let me just pull up my 7 star episode place. I think the Key Art Visual 2 costume for my cross crossover life, I might not have completed it. So, that one. Hmm. Oh, both of them are fully evolved. So, <laughs> okay, so that's the actual reason why I'm not pulling from my wife Wu's birthday step up gacha because I've gotten her birthday episode plate, um, the exclusive one, and it's fully evolved as well. Um, and there's really no reason for me to really pull. <laughs> <laughs> Step up birthday gacha. Um, so yeah, I, let me see. I think her birthday episode play was a five star. Was it a five star? No, I recall it's a six star, but it's fully four. Uh, where is it? Ah, oh, there. It. No, this is not it, right? <laughs> I mean, technically it is a birthday exclusive episode play, but oh, I can't remember. Is it? Is it this one? Yeah, technically, I mean, it is an older version. Maybe there's a newer one. Oh well. So, um, yeah, if, if all the featured plates for birthday gacha are already in your collection, I see no reason why you should yeah it is the same one okay so yeah technically you shouldn't need to pull the step up gacha um even if it's your waifu i mean unless you're trying to plus five their luck value <laughs> on all the episode plates uh, even for the for this one um i already have it so it is definitely one of the episode plays that I really wanted because, um, you know, I think Ranka is like the nicest looking <laughs> costume for the the constellation style costume. I mean, it, it fits her because it just screams green. <laughs> so yeah, it's just adorable. Okay, 
Anyways, enough talking. I have enough for at least a discounted template pool for Cheryl's 7 star episode plate and considering how horrible the luck has been for the month of April I mean it is still April technically that we are doing this gacha video it's the 30th of April uh, 2021 uh, if you guys in America by the time you guys come to the 30th of April it's actually the 1st of May in Japan so yeah okay so Let's do this as usual with the free single pool first. Then, of course, if the luck is horrible, we're gonna use the free template pool to try and flush out the good luck before we actually toss our singing stones in the into the actual template pool. So, no Valkyrie animations here as usual from the free pool. Uh, even if there is no Valkyrie animation, there is a chance that it might evolve, as we have seen two gacha videos before. <laughs> Alright, so we do get a pretty decent rare common plate. So that's kind of a good sign. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the daily free pool as well. So let's start things off small. Don't want to rush too fast into it. I'm gonna keep the luck to the very last moment. Okay, so we got an extremely common episode plate. You can tell by the quantities <laughs> that I already have of this episode plate. That's just horrible. Uh, which is good. I mean, technically, considering that we have not wasted our luck on a single free pool. Alright, here we go. The template free pool. Um, yesterday's template free pool was extremely dry. For me, there was not a single red box, so hopefully that means today's luck is there. Ooh, we're getting some mediocre load speeds. Mm. Okay, three Valkyrie animations, so pretty mediocre luck right there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> we do get a rainbow box off the bat but it doesn't mean anything. I mean, the rest of the boxes are all common ones. So that's technically okay, I hope. Here we go. So no evolution on the rainbow box. We do get some Melane love. That's fine. Oh, it's a new plate for me. Huh. I think I've already unlocked this costume for Melane. Yep. Okay. So, it's a pretty okay plate. It has score and damage as its life skill. No special note attachment to it, but you know, extra costume points are always welcome. And of course, since it's a brand new plate, um, you know, more to the collection completion. So that's fantastic. Alright. So let's do this. We're gonna go with the discounted template pool on the regular gacha, not the step up version because I would like to save more singing stones <laughs> for the upcoming gachas um, for the month of May, um, especially for Maki Rays, um, while created life costumes. Uh, those are a must for me. So, alright, it's time to save. Back into the uh, poor man's playstyle <laughs> of Utama Cross. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually done a video where I didn't toss my money in. It's kind of refreshing at the same time, kind of worrying for my parents. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's do this. Okay, hopefully, we get our luck um, shown here. Ooh. Mediocre load speeds once again. Hopefully more rainbow boxes appear. We haven't seen a 7 star episode plate in a while. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ooh, lots of red boxes. Whoa! Okay, saving up the luck is a good idea. Alright, so we do get some Ranker love. That's all good, since her birthday is technically still on, 
it depends on which part of the world you are. Okay, so the first red box didn't evolve. The first rainbow box didn't evolve either. There's still two chances. Okay, so all the red boxes did not evolve. We still have two rainbow boxes to go. Oh, we do get some lag. Aww. Okay, we do get an old episode plate for Kumo Kumo. One last rainbow. We can only be hopeful. Here we go. Aww. It's it's still Cheryl Gnome. Okay. That's fine. But I mean, technically I have to be happy considering that I did get three five-star episode plates, so. Ooh. Oh. Oh wait! I forgot! This, this series of episode plates actually have special notes attached to it. So, technically, I'm kind of blessed considering that they come with... Oh wait, was Mikumo the only one that doesn't have it? Because um, I remember Kaname, Makina, and Reina's episode plates have the score note attached to it. Oh dang! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's that's kind of unfortunate for Mikumo fans. So, I mean, technically we did get 5-star episode plates, and it's kind of a blessing, um, even though it's not a 7-star, or rather a 6-star form. But still, pretty decent luck, considering how dry the month of April is. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not too sad about it. I mean, like I said, I've always... Um, extra costume points are always welcome. So anyway guys, let me know your thoughts on Cheryl's brand new costume um, and 7 star episode plates. Are the stats satisfying to you? You know, is it good to have two costumes in one design? Um, or would you have preferred both costumes to be its own thing? Um, and as usual, do the wonderful stuff. Leave a like, subscribe, um, share the video and yes subscribe especially subscribe you know there's still like uh, 70 plus percent of you guys who are watching the video who are not subscribed what's going on <laughs> and of course if you guys do watch through the whole video I greatly appreciate it it helps push the channel towards uh, greater heights uh, especially if I were to try and monetize my videos because my, my wallet really needs it <laughs> and anyway guys thank you guys so much as always and I'll see you guys in the next Ultra Minecraft Gacha video with whatever singing stones that I can say but I mean I do technically have 300 singing stones on hand right now so I, I'm good for the next video <laughs> bye